So the very first thing I did was get rid of the, the bulkhead in the van. I don't need that for work and I definitely don't need it for doing this. So what I tend to do anyway on a night, I have the seats down so people can see that there's nothing in the van. So get rid of them. The next thing I did was buy a ply lining kit. So I've lined the van out, plywood base and everything. But before the, the lining went on, I've actually put insulation behind the boards. But when it comes to fitting these, there was a lot of wasted space behind these panels. So what I've done, I've, I've come up with this. So this is where I keep my spare stuff when I go fishing. You know, I have this one is working stuff. And I've got one at this side as well. That's just spares for when I go fishing. But when I use this van to sleep in, I'll be scrapping all this lot. And this is where my cooking and cups and that goes. Tea making gear. And the next thing I did, I had an old bed chair cover, sleeping bag cover, and that's permanently fixed to the ceiling of the van. Better for sound, a bit warmer, a bit of insulation. I've actually put an old rug down as well. I keep that down for work. This bit here, I've actually added a, an extra shelf. You'll see that when it comes to it. So that's the inside sorted. So let's see how I go about kitting it out. The bed chair I use is the, is the Tracker Level Light Compact. But what I've done with this, which I've done anyway, I've took the back legs off. So if you're using your wheelbarrow or whatever, it'll go flatter anyway. But when you are using it in your bivvy, I always use a, a bucket to support the head end. But with this, the van isn't long enough, it's only a short wheelbase van, it's going to rest on my, my seat, over the back of my seat. So let's have a look at that. All I've done here is take the headrest off and just lean the back as flat as it'll go. No need to slide this forward, that gives a bit of room there for a bit of gear, buckets or whatever. I've got these external window guides so I can leave the the windows open all the time for ventilation so it doesn't matter if it's raining so that's the bed chair tucked nice and tight my rucksack and my bags are at the front all the other bits and bobs will just slide under your bed chairs as usual so I'll do that next my rucksack and that is sat on the, the passenger seat. This one there, keep my food in there. But what I've done, they're actually sat on the buckets so I can get these out as I need them. I've got this old Nashi sort of seat that's supposed to sit on the floor, like that. So you sit on that and that goes against your bed chair. Um, but what I've done, I've cut the back and I put some ply in there, tipped it back up and that goes there and that's me, my seat. So I'm actually inside now with the, the door shut. I hardly ever shut the door. There's all the tea making gear on there, pots and pans. Have a bin in that corner. Loads of room, all my junk's underneath my bed chair, as usual. My phone, this is my old phone, just for this. With my, my job, I have loads of Makita batteries. I've got the USB charger, so that just goes up there and the cable runs along, goes into there. But this is on a, a quad lock that I use on my phone. So that's on there. So I have it that way. If I'm watching, watching stuff, I can have it that way. So that just stays there all the time. 
The stove I've got is a gas one. I want it to be a bit longer, nice and tall, so this goes together. So it's not like a proper kettle. It's very good though. MSR. Same, the wind burner. Really nice bit of kit. So when I'm not using that, that goes up there. That goes there as well. We'll have a closer look at this while we're talking about it. So it's the MSR wind burner. Mountain safety research. So basically everything goes in there. So you take the lid off, it's going to be a bit awkward. You've got your gas in there. You've got the stove head. And this, this bit comes off and that's like a cup. And this is you actually your kettle. So the idea of it is just put the exact amount of water in there. You've got the marks on the side. Fill it up. Put the lid on. That screws onto there. But I use the bigger ones. That one is just a spare. So hopefully I'll never use that one. Yeah, so that goes on there. So that's it all put together. Looks a bit like a rocket. But believe me, boils in no time. Perfect. Wind burner. It does work in, in wind as well. Brilliant. Got the old bivy mat down. Stop it getting wet there. So there's my rucksack still. So I can still get at everything. Food goes in there. I've actually cut this bit of hardboard there. So when I'm actually fishing, that'll be there. I can put my feet on it. It's comf comfy as anything. I've got loads of room. But this bit of hardboard, in the morning or whenever, if you've got the wind in your face, like you usually do when you're fishing, this just comes across. And that just keeps the chill off. Brilliant. That mirror there, I'd usually set that so I can see if anyone's coming down the side. So you can just leave it like this. But I've got another little thing I do tucked in there is a curtain so I'll get that out and we'll have a look at that yeah so basically just a bit of curtain with a bit of an elastic running through it I put some little notches in these corners there but then you can let's have a look you can leave it down so you can see out the windows or you can just do that and totally black it out same with this side Totally black it out. So that's nice on these um, long days when it's light at three, four o'clock in the morning. I can still get out all my stuff underneath there. A bit of privacy. So it's um, yeah, nice and big. Just sit back and wait for that run. Get my sounder box put on my shelf. So I never use the electrics of the actual van. Uh, lighting wires, I have these Makita lights. Because I have loads of Makita batteries. So I just bring as many batteries as I want and I'm set up. I have uh, actually made it an awning for this. So the roof rack is hollowed out there, covered with some tape. So I take that off, put some metal, metal bars in, and I've got some camouflage tarpaulin. So it'll overhang about three foot, but it covers the full roof of the van. So any rain, you won't hear it from inside, which is ideal if you're staying a bit longer. 